Today, Laura Granville is a teacher on the tennis court. Just a few months ago, she was a student of the game. At the age of 28, a career-ending wrist injury turned her world upside down. Two years ago, I was all about tennis. <laughs> um, I was traveling about 40 weeks a year, um, playing tournaments all over the world, and you know, all of my goals were basically based around tennis. So it was a big shift to all of a sudden start school and then kind of realize that my life, you know, it was on to the second part of my life. With nine International Tennis Federation titles, she has returned to Stanford to pick up her next trophy, a Stanford diploma. From Coach Brennan, who was my coach for my freshman year, when he showed me around the courts and then he took me in the trophy room and I saw I just remember seeing like two walls of gold. <laughs> I think I was just like dazzled for a minute. Um, and then I got to see like all the players that had played for Stanford and NCAA titles, including John McEnroe. Um, and I just realized like what an incredible tradition Stanford had. And I guess I just wanted to be a part of it. I really did. And I wanted to add to it. It still doesn't feel real. I don't know. It was such a big picture. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I, I still, I, I get chills now when I go in there. I'm also really proud of my sophomore year. Our team won um, the team title, and that's, that was one of the best experiences um, that I've had in tennis. So I think just being able to be a part of that team and actually um, tennis is so individual, so just being on that team and having us all win a title was just amazing. Actually, I started tennis when I was four, so I have so many amazing memories. You know, there's still a few goals I didn't quite reach, and um, I think that I'll always kind of have a couple regrets and, you know, wish I had done a few more things, but in general, I just, um, when I think of tennis, I think of really good things. It's just been a wonderful part of my life. Playing center stage in the twilight will not be one of those regrets. She faced Maria Sharapova in 2004 at the U.S. Open. Oh my gosh, when I first walked out on our Ash Stadium, I was afraid to look up. So I think it took me about 20 minutes before I actually like looked up and saw how big it was. But um, it was just, it was so exciting because my parents, my coaches, like a bunch of my friends were there cheering me on. And um, I felt like the crowd was behind me because I was an American. So it was an incredible feeling. I actually lost the first set. Um, I don't even know if I was breathing in that first set. Um, I was so nervous, but um, I felt like I got a lot more comfortable that I felt like the crowd was behind me. I ended up pulling out the second set, and I was leading for all of the third set. I was up 5-4, and I couldn't quite do it, but it was just so exciting to be a part of it. Granville will complete her undergraduate requirements this quarter. 13 years, two NCAA singles victories, one NCAA team victory, and nine professional wins after she first stepped onto the Stanford tennis courts as a student athlete. Once she graduates, her next life will begin. Oh, what a shot.